Have you ever found yourself in a season of waiting? A time when you've prayed for something and longed for change, but nothing seems to be happening. The circumstances around you remain the same day after day. You feel stuck and wonder when God will move. Perhaps you're waiting for healing in your body or marriage. You may be expecting a job offer, the birth of a child, or resolution to a difficult situation. Has prolonged waiting ever caused restlessness or uncertainty in your heart? It's in these in-between places where following God requires extraordinary faith. When we don't see clear direction or results, it's easy to grow impatient hoping for a new season to start. But friends, I'm here today to encourage you that these delays are not outside of God's control or care. He has purpose even for periods where the answers are delayed. The key is how we respond while in waiting. Will we surrender it to God or take matters into our own hands? Throughout church history, God's people have consistently found themselves in positions of waiting on the Lord. In scripture as well, we see story after story of those whose obedience involved extended seasons of trusting God, even without comprehension. People like Abraham who waited 25 years for the son of promise, Isaac, or Joseph who endured 13 years of difficulty and adversity before rising to leadership in Egypt. King David waited over a decade before fulfilling his destiny as ruler over Israel. The prophet Habakkuk cried out to God questioning why injustice seemed to prevail, yet received the patient response, Wait for it. It will surely come. Even Jesus modeled patient endurance, submitting fully to God's plan, which took him to the cross before entering glory. And the early church had to undergo severe testing as they anticipated Christ's return. What all these examples teach us is that waiting is a hallmark of a life walking with God, not something to avoid, but an opportunity for profound trust in Him. In this extended message, I want to provide encouragement for navigating waiting seasons by exploring three essential principles for trusting God fully without compromising faith or hope. Understanding God's purpose in delays, anchoring confidence in His sovereignty, and actively engaging Him through prayer and His Word. My hope is that as we unpack each point more deeply, you'll find strength, assurance, and calmness of spirit to endure whatever period of expecting God has you in right now. Let's jump in. Understand that waiting seasons are a test of faith. Whenever we find ourselves having prayed for something but not yet seeing breakthrough, recognize that God is using the delay to stretch and strengthen your faith. Faith pleases God because it demonstrates our trust and dependence on Him alone, rather than relying on what we can produce ourselves. The Bible says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1 1. During waiting seasons, God takes away our ability to see clear answers so that we walk by faith in Him, rather than by sight. It becomes a test. Will we continue believing God even when we don't understand why things haven't changed? Or will our faith waver under pressure of a protracted delay? This is why the God tells us repeatedly in Scripture to wait patiently and to stand firm in faith and not cave to impatience or doubt. He wants to develop persevering faith in us that won't quit on Him, even when gratification is delayed or the timing is obscure. Remember, to those who prove faithful during testing, God promises crowns of righteousness at Christ's return. So view your waiting as a precious chance to grow in believing God more than your feelings instead of as a meaningless delay. He is at work behind the scenes to develop steadfast trust in you. In Psalm 27, David models how to persevere through trials of faith by anchoring his confidence not in what he sees, but who he sees, the faithful character of God alone. He declares, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. What encouragement for us when passing through dark valleys to rest in God's unwavering goodness rather than circumstances. A life of faith 
involves learning to wait on God as master rather than demand our timing as slaves. He uses delays to reveal where our sufficiency lies, in what is visible, or in his invisible yet powerful presence. So see waiting seasons as God stretching your dependence on Christ alone through exercising faith in him without breakthroughs as a visible crutch. Your maturity is what he values more than relief from a situation. Trust him even when the path forward is unclear. Recognize God's sovereignty over timing. When we pray for something yet don't immediately see the answer manifest, it's tempting to think that God either didn't hear us or didn't care enough to act. We question if he's really in control or aware. But friends, nothing could be further than the truth. Scripture affirms that God hears every prayer of the righteous, 1 Peter 3.12, and that he cares deeply for his children, 1 Peter 5.7. Rather than doubting God's care or willingness, we must remember his perfect wisdom and control over timing. God sees past, present and future all at once from his perspective outside of linear time. He has already ordained from before creation exactly when and how to resolve each situation and answer every prayer for his highest glory and our greatest blessing. While we see but a small piece, God sees the intricate mosaic that is all of history and knows what needs to precede each answer for maximum benefit. Waiting seasons remind us that God gives outcomes according to his counsel alone, not ours. Isaiah 55, 8-9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. We can trust that even in delays or unanswered questions, God operates everything, from infinitesimal details to overarching plans, according to the perfect guidance of his sovereign will for our flourishing and his fame. Surrender your agenda and timing to God's superior leading. Know he is never limited as some small regional deity whose infinite wisdom we can comprehend. No circumstance arises apart from his permissive providence and loving purposes over our lives. Romans 8.28 Calm every anxious care by remembering God's faithful character, revealed in stories like Joseph, Daniel, and Esther. Even in what seems like purposeless prolongation, find peace that the master weaver is forming events according to his magnificently orchestrated tapestry of redemption and glory. Additionally, Recognize God's sovereignty over timing helps shatter the illusion of ultimacy in any circumstance and tether confidence firmly in Him alone. When situations outlast emotional endurance, the testimony of His providential care far surpasses our fleeting feelings or the shifting sands of happenings here below. No delay diminishes His eternal love. In fact, it heightens our realization that only in Christ is permanent hope and joy found. His sovereignty frees waiting periods from having power to distort vision or defeat trust in the good sovereign provider. He remains worthy regardless. Use waiting seasons constructively through prayer and the word. Rather than becoming idle or frustrated during delays, God calls us to active participation in these in-between places through wholehearted communion with him. The Bible tells us to devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians 4.2. When, in a waiting season, pray with expectation and request believing you will receive according to God's measure. Matthew 7.7. 7. Pour out your heart unrestrainedly to God in every detail, but leave room through reverent listening also for the author to address his desire over your life during this season. Seek him not just for answers to the request itself, but for deeper insight on how he wants to shape your character through the process and the ability to trust his unseen hand at work. Ask God to strengthen you to love and obey him, above all, even without full comprehension. Plead also for faith to praise him in the dark as much as the sunlit places. Habakkuk 3, 17 to 18. This devotional intimacy with God through unreserved and expectant prayer develops a profound security in Christ 
that will carry you through even prolonged waiting without despair. It activates hope based on who he is rather than temporary states, and it forges new levels of surrender by inviting God to transform heart posture more than external conditions. Additionally, prayer should be partnered diligently with regular immersion in God's Word. Nourish your soul daily by meditating on the precious truths and promises there as an antidote to discouragement, doubt or impatience from creeping in during delays. Daily reminders from Scripture powerfully shape perspective by describing God's faithful character, spotlighting His past mighty acts, unveiling His ultimate purposes and defining righteousness through obedience rather than immediate gratification. Let Scripture transform how you think about who is in control even when outcomes seem intangible. Study examples in the Bible of others who trusted God during long hard places and seasons of waiting on the Lord, and be encouraged that He remains just as reliable even now in your current situation or difficulty. With humble prayer and the Word as your provision, God renews a mind anchored in His eternal strength and sustaining grace, rather than fleeting circumstances or feelings which are prone to mislead. Make it your aim to walk daily in fellowship with the one who sees you, even if answers are presently unclear. Then make it your aim to glorify God regardless of visible breakthrough. Determine to trust and obey Him above all, so that when answers do come, He alone receives praise for perfect timing rather than any personal effort or solving. In this way, God's renown increases both in patience and in power when long-awaited provision unfolds, and keep hope burning brightly through praise even in darkness. The scriptures tell us to be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12, 12. Though faith is tested through delay, sing God's faithfulness to bring light even when no proof is apparent. His faithfulness is far greater than any sunset or sunrise. He is the source of light, and in Him there is no variation or shadow caused by change. James 1.17 Remind yourself often that the God who owns tomorrow's dawn is also Lord over tonight's shadows. In Him alone is permanent victory over every trial and triumph over each difficulty. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4.17 Future blessing will more than compensate for present perplexity if we fix eyes on the author and perfecter of faith rather than changeable feelings. So rest deeply in Jesus' unchanging nature, even as you long for answers. Let his promise of sure provision and perfect wisdom carry you safely like a mother's gentle arms until understanding comes in God's timing. Lean hard on the everlasting arms, Deuteronomy 33:27, and keep hope firmly anchored in Christ rather than outward situations which shift constantly with the winds. In this way, you remain unmoved while awaiting transformed through sanctifying patience into the image of our faithful Savior. Friends, may these encouragements empower you to trust God completely through every waiting season. Stand on His promises, obey His leading moment by moment, prayerfully commune with Him in His word daily. Then you emerge from delays all the stronger Closeness with Jesus deepened immensely through faithful endurance. Your light will shine brighter, testimony bolstered mightily for His glory, as others observe uncommon grace, empowering through even long trials. And remember to all who prove faithful as they watch and wait on the Lord, He promises exceptional reward. Revelation 14.12 says, This calls for patient endurance on the part of the people of God who keep his commands and remain faithful to Jesus. Hold steady, the best is yet to come for those whose hope is fixed on Christ alone rather than seen circumstances which fade. He will never leave you or forsake you even until the end. On that glorious day we'll marvel at how perfectly God timed every detail for maximum blessings, far surpassing what we ask or think according to his boundless power. In conclusion, times of waiting demand that we trust God's faithfulness 
more than our feelings or perception of logical timing. Even when the answer is delayed, God sees, cares for, and works all things together for good, according to his perfect plan and purposes, over our lives. When we surrender the waiting fully to him through patient faith, persevering prayer and regular communion with truth from the Bible, we position ourselves to experience renewed hope, uncommon peace, and ultimately receive God's blessing when he decides the moment is right to bring about his established will. Friends, in every trial know that our faithful God and Father will never fail or abandon us. Not even for an instant will he leave us to face difficulty without help. The scriptures reassure us, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, 18. As children of the King of Kings, However dark the night may seem, we can rest secure that joy comes in God's perfect morning. Psalm 35. So hold steady. Do not shrink back, but look up instead of around, and keep following Jesus step by step, even when you can't see where the path leads next. For he who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Philippians 1-6. In his perfect way and perfect timing. Nothing throughout all of heaven and earth can thwart his sovereign plans or frustrate his ultimate purposes over your life. Rest confident of his constancy even when you don't yet see fulfillment or don't understand why circumstances haven't shifted. Keep believing what you cannot see with natural eyes, that our wonderful counselor is caring for you, watching over you and will cause all things to work for blessing because he loves you dearly. May these truths strengthen every heart here today to trust God's goodness, even in seasons of awaiting His answers still out of sight. I pray this encouragement finds you walking more closely with the Lord in the valley and on the mountaintop. May His comfort encompass you and His peace which surpasses all understanding. Guard your thoughts continually. Philippians 4.7 you can endure whatever delay or prolongation Jesus places you in by fixing affection resolutely on him who is able to keep you from stumbling and present you holy and unblameable before the throne. Jude 124. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen.